This is Pressure Overdrive, the newest game from German developer Chasing Carrots. This is a fast-paced action game that's equal parts racing and shooting, all while keeping a cartoony look that's hard to resist. It's coming to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC later this year, but I've been playing the early test version. I know you have a lot of questions about Pressure Overdrive, so let's crib this! Racing and shooting? Like, Twisted Metal? No, that's not the right comparison. Pressure Overdrive is like Spy Hunter meets Smash TV. It's a fast-paced dual-stick shooter where you're racing through more than 30 levels destroying every car that dares to get in your way. It's the kind of killer concept you used to see a lot of in old arcade games, but not so much lately. I'm not sure why, because what I played is immediately fun and I had a hard time putting it down. The story sees Morgan confused and a little angry when the local river mysteriously dries up. In order to make things right, he makes the rational decision to jump into his steam buggy and go on a murderous rampage to get back at the maniac water thief Count Soap II. Okay, so maybe that's not the rational decision, but Morgan is dead set on racing through the land to make sure the Count doesn't construct a gigantic uber spa. And it's a dual stick shooter? That's right, you steer the car with the left analog stick and shoot in any direction with the right. Let's get one thing straight, this is not a typical racing game. There aren't laps and you aren't trying to come in first. You will earn more points if you finish the race quickly, but this is strictly an action game. The idea is to beat the level and earn coins that you can use to buy new weapons, vehicles, and upgrades. That's actually something I really like about Pressure Overdrive. You're able to buy new abilities that get mapped to the controller's four shoulder buttons. For example, you'll be able to deploy a drone that'll double your firepower, attach a tether that'll refill your life, and perform a quick speed boost by pressing the left trigger. You can even upgrade your weapons over the course of the game. This gives you a lot of incentive to go back and play through the stages, or even bring in a second player to go along for the ride. Why does this look vaguely familiar? Ah, good eye! What I didn't realize going in is that this is actually an enhanced and upgraded version of Chasing Carrot's very first game, Pressure. It came out in 2013 and was met with mixed reviews. Thankfully, the developers have taken this criticism to heart and have been working on making the brand new iteration a more definitive experience. This brand new version features drastically improved controls, better visuals, a complete overhaul of the weapons, and even a much needed endless mode for those looking for a real challenge. Best of all, Pressure Overdrive will actually be hitting consoles, something that didn't happen with the original game. The company learned a lot of lessons from their first outing, and that experience is on full display with this upcoming release. As a fan of old-school arcade games that had you driving and shooting at the same time, I have high hopes for Pressure Overdrive. The version I played was missing some content, but the hooks are certainly there for me to keep coming back. Chasing Carrots has made a lot of important changes to the formula that I think most people will appreciate. Pressure Overdrive is hitting PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Steam sometime in the next three months, and I think it should be on your radar. Hey, thanks for watching our preview. I don't want to tip my hand here, but you absolutely need to check out tomorrow's review of Thimbleweed Park. I can't say whether I like it or not right now, but I have some strong feelings and you definitely want to check it out. The same can be said about next week's review of Ukulele, which will go live on Tuesday. I'm also working on reviews of Majortory, Skip Chasers, Red Death, Monster Slayers, and so much more. I recommend you click the subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.